I guess um, buying into the stereotypes of what of what men should be like tough, demeaning women, emotionless, really um, callous, a negative. I think it could unproductive, hurtful. It's not men being men, but I would rather say it's like when you're using the fact that you're a male to your advantage to put other people down. It's like a boy doesn't want to cry. And he can't feel like he can't. To be tough, because men are supposed to be tough. That's what I was taught. Having to be in control as a man. Aggressive. Unnecessary. <laughs> I'm Zach Melagrano. I'm Ryan Norton. Casey Vera. I'm Josie Feltes. I'm Wolf Larry. I'm Mr. Sweeney, Assistant Hi, Marcy. I'm My name's Joanne McGorowitz, and I work in the guidance department. Jade Dykes, you know. Matt Rings. I'm Sophia. Uh, I mean, like, once or twice. I usually don't cry too much, though. Yes. Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. I was like seven. Um, I mean, joking around, but intimately, no. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I mean, yeah. No. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, sometimes. Probably not now, though. Um, no. No. I mean, I know that the stereotypical image is obviously muscles, shorter hair, um, deep voice, tall. So, I mean, that's always the image that's portrayed. My pr perspective of a man would probably be someone who's respectable, honest. You can talk to them, they're straightforward. Uh, they're not gonna try to lie to you or deceive you. Obviously, these body characteristics, like the muscles and things, like being big, are nice to have, but I wouldn't say that's what makes you a man. Like, your personality makes you a man. You know who you are and how you act and treat others. Um, basically, I don't have a physical, but like emotionally, you know, like funny, caring, um, confident. Um, I don't really like guys very much, but <laughs> um, I guess somebody that's um, caring and kind and truthful. Someone who's good, someone who's kind, someone who treats others with respect. I think, I think based on the definition I just gave you, I do think, you know, we are, we are a microcosm of larger society. So if something exists in larger society, definitely exists so so yeah are there I, I think young men do uh, are socialized in a way uh, that tells them that what it is to be male is like I said really narrow and anytime somebody male female or however they identify is limited in some way it is it is communicated to them that only parts of the full breadth of Probably daily. 
but not in, uh, I, I think it's, I think there is a little bit more enlightenment about what boys, how boys should act, how girls should act, so I think kids are not um, proud when they're saying something that might be, that they're realizing is probably sexist, so, but I think, it, I think it's there and I think it's quiet, like for instance, I'm talking with a student the other day, a male student, and very, very emotional conversation, but he did his darndest not to let a tear drop. And I'm thinking, oh, if you just let it out, it would be so much more healthy for you. But no, I think, um, and I don't think he's alone in feeling as though he wouldn't be able to show that kind of emotion. I'm sure there are ways, and we need to be thoughtful about ways that we unintentionally sort of uh, unintentionally create systems and procedures that contribute to that sense that like to be male is, 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 is a really specific and limited kind of, kind of thing. Sometimes. Question. I think so. I, 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 I would not say that my feeling is that gender roles are more limited and damaging now than they were 20 years ago, or that they're better now than they were 20 years ago. I think it's been a reality for a long time. I think it still plays out. Um, you know, we still see, despite a lot of progress societally, we still see kids majors they choose when they leave Reading High. Um, you know, a, a, a girl, for instance, is more likely to go in the direction of education, nursing. There are some professions males are more likely to go into who still struggle to uh, have a representation in the sciences among our young women. Um, so, I'm not answering specific to masculinity, but I guess I'm saying like, I see I, there's work to be done in the area of gender.